So I am um, practicing setting up my Go Light Poncho um, tarp. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, I've got some my trekking poles up there and a emergency blanket. That's a space blanket. Uh, it's one of the heavier ones. It actually weighs 12 ounces, so um, full pound, but it's reusable, which is really nice. The other space blankets are pretty good too, so I wouldn't shy away from those. They're about four bucks and way lighter. So I haven't quite turned my away from those. But anyways, I got my um, this is a Go Light Poncho tarp um, tied up the hood there. And it's all still nylon, thing weighs nothing, like four or five ounces. See the Go Light um, logo right there. This is a, their newest version. I actually used a 40% coupon and got this puppy for like 50 bucks. But it's a great poncho. I worked the other night running across the way. Uh, got some MSR Groundhog stakes here. Uh, just put them in the side. So I just laid her out flat, put this one in first, then pulled it taut and pulled that one in second and then um, I came out here and I did the middle uh, trekking pole first so got my uh, guy line here and tied a bowline bow line knot there um, and put this one out first staked it out and you know adjusted my trekking pole guy lined it all the way out here and on the end here of what I got going I probably need to put this farther into the ground but I got uh, Night Eyes, um, N-I-T-E-I-Z-E, -E. um, and they, this thing's great. It came with four of these plastic clips and four of these guy lines, and it was ten bucks. I mean, from REI, can't beat it. Let me uh, get this tent stake in a little bit further. There we go. Now we're in. All right. Um, so my MSR Groundhog stakes, um, Night Eyes. This is a, uh, just, I forget the name of these things, um, figure nine, night eyes, figure nine. And, uh, just come around here. It's great. It, it easily, it easily tightens, gives you a nice mechanical advantage. Uh, so I put that in, that one in third. So it went, uh, that one first, taut second in the back, then put this up. And then the next thing I put up was this other trekking pole again, bowling knot all the way down to the night night eyes and then you know my MSR groundhog pulled all that tight um, this should have been pitched you know if I was actually gonna sleep under here tonight I would flip it all the way around because you can see the winds coming in that direction so you want to put you know it into the back of the wind there and then the last thing I staked down was this corner so totally staked down the corner here um, no problem that was easy pulled it tight and then the last thing I did was cinched up the hood. Uh, you can see I cinched it up. And then again, using my quick little knot there and a bowline, um, keeping this tight. It'll keep the water off me. These things come seam sealed. I think they're already, they said you don't even have to seam seal it because you can see it's um, sewn in twice. So I pretty, feel pretty good about that. And then, um, you know, my last one's running out here. Um, again with the night eyes and that'll keep it nice and pitch and um, should have a lot of room under here I'm gonna get under here um, here's the space blanket ah. so I mean I got tons of space I'm laid out no problem boom poncho tarp well, I'm not sure if you can see this one it's getting late but um pitched an A-frame here. Um, started with staking out all four corners, again with the night eyes and the MSR groundhog. Probably can't see the night eyes too well there, but they're in there. And then, um, so I, all four corners on the ground. Then I uh, ran my orange guy line here under the entire tarp and um, set my poles to the same length, wrapped them around. Um, and then these night eyes, I just can't tell you how great they are with the, um, you know, figure nine on them into the ground. You can just, you know, tighten them up so sharp and you get that really taut ridge line. I probably would make one more guy line on the poncho hood there and stretch that out so it doesn't collect water. But I mean, this, this is quite tight. 
you know, and if you really want to go the extra mile, find a couple of little ropes to stretch this out real nice. And I mean, you got a pretty solid A-frame. And I mean, look under that bad boy. You know, got my space blanket. You just throw your bivy down um, with, uh, you can even attach a bug net in there, whatever you want. Um, but this thing would definitely, you know, keep it nice. And, you know, if you wanted to tighten up that A-frame, you could. You could just um, bring in your stakes a whole lot and uh, get these closer to the ground um, if it's really coming down on you. But uh, pretty nice little A-frame here with the Go Light poncho tarp.